when I got this belt, I was slightly confused on how the hell to attach the H. And yeah, this is how you do it. If you can find a deal, I think it's worth it. Who cares that people aren't wearing it anymore? Like if you like it, buy it. with you guys my thoughts on the Hermes H belt and also sharing with you guys a couple of other designer belts that I have and whether or not they're worth it so if you want to know more information just keep on watching let's start with my favorite belt none other than the Hermes H belt I received this belt back in February or March of this year 2022 and I absolutely love it. I did an unboxing on Instagram so I'll insert a little clip for you here. have worn this belt a couple of times and yes we are going to talk pricing sizing and everything okay so this is the little receipt it always comes nicely wrapped with ribbon everything like that so and you have your little dust bag for your buckle and you also have the dust bag for the box and the belt that I decided to get was the black and brown, which they call gold, the black and gold belt. Black and brown are neutral colors. They go with just about everything. And I decided to go with the gold buckle because most of my bags have gold hardware. And I just like the way the gold look with the black and also with the brown as well. You cannot go wrong with classic black and gold or brown and gold. I love the versatility of this belt, the fact that it's a reversible belt. So you get two in one. Um, the H buckle is just so nice and it shines beautifully. This is a new belt. I've only worn it twice, so I don't have any scratches. So I can't tell you how it wears over time, but so far so good. It has Hermes like engraved right there. And the size belt that I went for was a size 85. I tend to wear my jeans like high-waisted. I rarely wear a low-rise jean, but I wanted to be sure that the belt that I chose, the size that I chose, would be able to convert from high-waisted jeans to lower jeans. I tried it out and it does fit. And I will be inserting some clips of how this belt looks on. This belt is 100% worth it. Um, probably going to purchase another belt with the silver buckle. This belt comes in so many color variations and textures. And like I said, you can get different types of buckles, different colors, and different textures as well. I do prefer the smooth um, texture here. I think it's called like brushed. But yeah, that's my preference. And if I get it in silver, I would probably get the same type of style belt with maybe like a white and a gray. So I had to go to Hermes and get a couple of extra holes poked in. I think they do maximum two. Um, at least that's what they told me and that's all I needed. So you want to make sure that you're getting a size that is, you know, that's going to fit. When I got this belt, I was <laughs> slightly confused on how the hell to attach the H. And yeah, this is how you do it. You have to turn the H buckle to where this piece is like furthest from this piece. I hope hope that that makes sense um i watched the youtube video on how to put this belt buckle onto the belt but yeah then you just take and you slide the belt like this and then you use this little piece here right there to snap it into the hole of your choice and so that's how you put this belt on i hope that helps somebody out because i was a little confused i'm not gonna lie so yeah, I adore this belt. I would definitely recommend it. I definitely think it's worth it. And speaking of worth it, let's talk about 
pricing. So this is the little receipt you get here. And this belt in 2022 retails for a total of $848. So this belt was $848. And yeah, I think it's worth it. So this would definitely be my favorite belt of the belts that I currently have. And I'm just going to share with you the next one. This belt was really popular a couple of years ago. This is the Gucci Marmot belt. And it actually comes with a dust bag here, this white and black silk dust bag. And then it also came with this really nice um, box. So it came packaged really, really nice. Um, I got a lot of wear out of this belt. It actually has scratches on it now. This belt I got in a size 85 as well. And I think, yeah, I definitely got holes poked in this belt. I think I got like three holes poked in this belt. I don't wear this belt anymore, but when I did, I absolutely loved it. I like that the gold hardware is kind of toned down. So it's not like in your face and so flashy. Um, it goes well with the gold jewelry and also like white gold and silver jewelry as well. So I definitely really like that the buckle is not like that vibrant, shiny, shiny gold. It's more like rustic. This is such a cute belt on and I'll insert um, some clips of me wearing this belt now. I'm pretty sure you guys can get this belt highly discounted at this point because I just don't know if people are still rocking Gucci Marmont. Like I said, it was so popular a few years back. I'm still going to keep the belt. I really like it. I think it's versatile with going between gold and silver. So I won't be selling it. It was a birthday gift as well. So I definitely feel like I want to keep it in my belt collection. But yeah, it's a cutie and I wouldn't pay full price for this now. Um, but you know, if you can find a deal, I think it's worth it. Who cares that people aren't wearing it anymore? Like, if you like it, buy it. The last and final belt is this Versace Medusa head belt. Now, this belt is black and gold, and it comes in really smooth leather, and it is super duper shiny and flashy. So, let me tell you the story behind this belt. This is actually a man's belt. I purchased this belt for my husband for as one of his Christmas gifts maybe a year or so back. He didn't try the belt on until way too late and it was out of like the return policies limit. So we had to keep the belt. This belt did not fit my husband. It was way too small. It actually fit me and I'm like, what was I thinking? I don't know. Did I want this belt unconsciously? I don't know. I don't think I did. I know I didn't want this belt. I wanted it for him. But anyway, it didn't fit him. Um, there was no way to kind of fix that problem. It was out of the return policies period. So what did I do? I kept the belt for myself um, and I bought him another belt. So yeah, I don't wear this belt a lot. Because like I said, it wasn't intended for me. This is really not my style. To me, this is a very flashy and in your face. And that gold is like, it's not muted at all. It's like gold gold. It's Versace. I actually had to go and get some holes poked in this belt so that it could fit me. It looks cute on with an all black outfit. I'm not going to lie. But this is not something that I wear often. I have thought about selling this belt. Um, but... You know, I got it for a decent price and it doesn't bother me to have it in my collection because if I was going to like an all black event and just wanted a little pop, pop, pop of something, then yeah, I would wear this. I actually think I went to an all black Versace party and um, yeah, I opted to wear this belt and it was a cool, it was a cool look. So anyway, guys, um, would I recommend this belt? No, because... It's really not my style, but I do think it's cute. And um, this would probably look cute, um, waisted, high waisted with a dress. I've never tried it that way, but now that I'm looking at it, it could probably be used for something like that. Um, this is a size 100. Like, this is a, like, how can it not fit him and it fits me? I have no idea. I did not buy this purposely for myself. I really didn't, but they have the Versace right there um 
yeah this is a size 100 and i normally wear an 85 but i am making it work because my husband couldn't and uh yeah we're at the end of the video i hope you guys enjoyed today's video and i was able to give you a little information about these three lovely belts of course like i said my favorite is the hermes belt um, it's just a classic style. It's really understated. If you don't know what it is, you don't know what it is. It's not super flashy and it's very versatile. So if I had to say one belt from this video, I would say this one. If you guys like these type of videos, these luxury reviews and little collection videos, let me know and I will do more. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I truly appreciate it and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.